Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode where I critique your guys' photos. And today we have this beautiful Ferrari that Alvaro sent in. I'm going to put his Instagram handle up on the screen here. Let's dive right into it. Always love to see a rolling shot. Anytime you can add action into like car shots and stuff, that's like awesome. I think what's really cool here is most rolling shots you see the car from the front because we're like hanging out the back of cars or like hanging out of a window shooting backwards. I think it's really cool that you have the perspective of the rear. You don't see that too much and um, awesome. That's very cool. I'm assuming that you're hanging out like the passenger or like you got your arm hanging out like taking frames probably at like a 20th, 30th of a second. Um, you have really good motion. So I'd say it's definitely got to be around like 20 or something, right? Maybe you could shed a little bit of light in the comments, but the the motion here is awesome. Your wheels look great. The focus is um, really good. Nice and sharp. Um, sometimes when people are hanging out of a window and shooting at 20th or a 10th of a second um, shutter speed, things are pretty blurry. When you get into the close-up of your photo, it's it's sharp and that's awesome now when you're shooting rollers and stuff it's like i know i'm like composite 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 let's composite our cpl layers let's composite our light layers let's composite everything like you don't really get to do that with rolling shots you know so with that i'd say the first thing that like kind of jumps out to me the first thing that jumps out to me is like the sky but we'll, we'll get into that first thing i'd say that would jump out to me like when we're like let's just start with the car is the red here on the side seems like a different red here it almost looks like you have three different reds overall right we have over here on the trunk which looks like ferrari red then back here we have like a purpley blue red and then over here we have like a pink it's like a pinkish magenta um so like you know if i just have let's see let's just select the car like really roughly i'm gonna have ai select the car out and did a pretty good job so if we went into like hue and saturation of like we just took the car into camera raw so like i know you guys see some of the background here but really like what i do here is only going to affect the car right so like say i went really bright with it if i hit okay it's only going to affect the car because i have it selected so i'm in camera raw and i'm just working on the car um i would come to like this would be the first thing i do i would come into like hue and saturation and i'd say okay let me see my reds we're gonna like go a little bit more orange to get the car more on the side of like the ferrari red and then i come to my magentas and i'd say okay I am seeing a shift in the magentas, so it's, a, it's super subtle, and I don't know if you guys on YouTube are going to be able to see this, but like you can see some of the blues coming out of the car. If I go this way, it goes more bluish pink. If I go this way, it goes a little bit more, um, I'm actually reverse on it. If I go this way, I'm seeing a little bit more yellows. If I go over to the right, I'm seeing a little bit more like pinkish blue. So I would kind of try to fight these back, trying to get in that, we're trying to get that blue out of there, right? Uh, maybe it's, you know, messing around with like a little bit of the saturation on the blues and purples, but I would be messing around with something like this first. Okay. Oh, well, all right. Let's say, Hey, we're going to be okay with that. Now I would come into here in human saturation in Photoshop. I go back to my magentas. I, I like to go fully forward with it to see like what's truly being purple. Not much actually. So then I'll come over to blue and I'll go all the way up again in the red. Not much. So that might not be. Okay, so cyan, we have a little bit more. So, like, maybe cyan, I'll shift slightly here. You can see it's really just in the blacks. Again, um, red, if we go all the way up with red, we should have a ton of red, which we do. So now I'm going to mess around with red a little bit, and I'm going to go more, you know, two or three slides to the right, I guess, and I'm, I'm going to get a little bit more red. Now, when I'm doing this, I would do it in, like, a mask. So say like hey it's making this way too orange because you said we have ferrari red back here but over here it's starting to look really good so like i would drag this into the spot i'm only looking over here forget everything else i would drag this into a spot i like now i would take my brush i would go back to black and i'd erase it out of the spots i don't want it to affect this isn't perfect like you can see that i'm getting like 
some of the blue back and stuff. But like when you pan out, you can see like look how much the side of the car matches a, a better. If I click on and off, look how pink. Like look look like right by the door handle and like the highlight. This is the this is the hue and saturation added to it. Without, so it goes from like pink to like Ferrari red. Um, so I would do like. I'd probably spend like a good hour fixing some of that. Uh, the other problem would be like really like layer masking out this like blue that's coming in the rear bumper. Um, that would be the next thing I'd try to be doing secluded with like a hue and saturation. But um, that would be like the first thing. The second thing I'd say like let's add a sky here. I, I see we're clipping in the sky. Um, but you, you have a little bit there and you have this like this kind of dark spot there, but, um, this photo really could be set apart with even just a sky. And, um, I think also if like, we're going to add a sky, like let's go with like a soft light pull from like the bottom corner just to like take our eye away from back here, give us a little bit of shape, right? If we do something like that darken that up a little bit okay so now naturally we're getting a little bit of a warmer tone in there I actually kind of like that um, let's do like a really wide gradient here just trying to like fight the eye back towards the car so this is just with the gradients right I know we were talking about sky but now we get into sky from here and um, a quick look at like the car Sun seems like it was like what probably noon between 3 and 10 a.m. right that's what this this sunlight is kind of giving me so I would try to go and find a sky let me see what I got let's try to find a sky I'll speed this part up so I would try to find a sky that would match a scene like this and see if I can find something pretty quickly in my archive here I have a folder of tons and tons of skies but I'm looking for something around you know noon between 3 and 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, I don't have too much like that so let's just go a lot of my skies happen to be like when it's uh, you know proper times to shoot outside because that's when I'm mostly shooting so those are the skies that I want to like have to like match with me so um, let's just pull some just for the sake of the video. I'm gonna pull this in right at least this is like soft enough to get the idea So I would you know probably do like a light opacity like this I'd stretch it a little bit just so I can have the room to play you're obviously tilted here So I'm gonna tilt my sky and my horizon something like that So we'll pop that in so now You know we have we have that layer. I'm gonna compress that so Let's just go like this. We're going to quickly, I'm going to act like I'm, I would be editing this photo cloud. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to get this on its own little mask. So now shift control I, now I have my background separate from my car and here we go. So now one of the ways I'd like to do it is like I go, I go into channels and I go to blue and then I duplicate it. Now I hit control L on the duplicate and then I'll go like this. Now really try to separate the sky. I'm working in black and white. So I want what I don't, what I don't want to grab will be black and what I do want to grab will be white. So it was like pretty easy to blow my sky out right there. You see, you see like right here, we still have some. So like that stuff will like be weirdly selected. So we want to go to a point where it's full white. Once it's full white, I want to drag these other marks to darker because I really don't want those other marks to be selected. So now I have something like this. I'm going to select. I'm going to turn my other layers back on. I'm going to turn this layer off. Go back to my layers. This is going to be red. I have no idea why it goes to red. I'm going to click that off. And now we have like a decent selection. You can go in and clean up some of this other stuff that gets selected. Because sometimes you can mess up. Um, and have like when you're painting you have it like bleed onto the ground like because what you're doing is you're just selecting based off of contrast See you see how like some of it comes onto the car like you want to come in here and be like, okay We don't want that piece 
you know sometimes skies are easier to, to handle the reason why I'm doing it like this is because you have all these light posts and it's like man that's gonna be torture and this still might not be perfect um, I'm gonna show you a quick way but you know this after I'm done here it still might need more work but for the sake of the video we won't get into that um, but there is multiple ways mainly by just like spending more time to get things perfect but we're gonna stop there actually let's get these last couple ones out let's get that out we can actually take all of this out because of the trees right there and that should be good enough for now let's get that one out too that should be good enough so now I'm gonna just take a white brush since I have a nice mask on this and I'm gonna paint in the new sky right so did a decent job so like what I mean here is like it didn't do a great job back here so what you need to do is you probably need to like go into an to like the mask and refine it and like shift the edges and play around a little bit to you know like when you're selecting hair out like it's kind of a similar you know task another option is like with how good the remove tool is you could probably just start going in and removing all those like that I would I would actually consider that um, but regardless so you have a photo like this and you got to keep in mind that like I don't have a matching sky I'm showing you the sky just to kind of give you an idea but there's a couple of ways even without a matching sky that we can get this to look good and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit shift control a bring it into camera raw our photo is much warmer than this so I'm gonna go much warmer and then what I want to do is I want to go brighter but I don't want to crush my brightness and we're going to just tinker with a couple of these things. Let me get it into a spot that I like. Hit OK. Bring it out. OK, here we go. We're messing with. Now we now we, we have some potential here, right? Like this looks like it. This looks like it could actually be the sky. Now um, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to say, hey, I want my blues. Just my blues to be a little bit darker. I want them to have a little bit more punch and I want them to be more like Miami blue cyan. There we go. So now, like we have a we have a we have an image here. It, honestly, also for like Instagram, like you can't even really tell that those lights are poorly selected out, or what they even are. Like the ones in the really really far background, like like these ones actually like are decent. For for as quick as I did this, those are actually decent. And I probably like I w like I'm like what I'm saying is I probably come in here, and I'd be like remove. I mean, this tool is so insane that I probably would just come in here and do like this for a lot of these. Like, it's gone. Gone. Again, I'm going fast, but like, you could get all these distracting, like, in seconds. Like, why not? Why not have a cleaner photo? Um,. Cause I just like do those, do those like, are we like, dude, you're taking out those light posts. Like that's what made the photo. <laughs> no, who cares about the light posts? We're looking over here. Like this is just like a technical thing that like is giving us an issue because of the sky. So like I'd probably come in here and I'd like shop out each pole. Like it's just going to take two seconds nowadays with the tools we have. I go in here and I, I would be like removing all these, right? Like we're almost there. So like, let's just do it. Screw it. Um, I'm doing it really fast. You can do this so it will literally look like mint. Um, I would spend more time than it than I'm doing. I'd be like with a smaller brush right now. But yeah, so like something like this. Now look at the image, right? Now we're I turned off the color grade that we did in the car, but like if we had the car correct, you know, we're we're starting to get somewhere um whereas this was the before image, right? It almost looks like this is in a, like when you look at it, like compared to that, it almost looks like this is in a raw state. So, um, yeah, so I'd be like something like this. And now I'd add like a little bit more, like our sky is still kind of flat here. Um, so like maybe I'd add like a gradient, like a soft light gradient, put this in soft light. I do like a soft light gradient here. And then since we were saying that this was coming from noon, we'd put like a screen, maybe like really soft sunny glow 
coming from like the sky up here. Like th that's just like in two seconds. I'm I'm not even sure I like really like the glow. Like we don't need to put those in. Um, we could just say, hey, select my sky and let's go a little bit like where's my sky at? It's right here. Like let's go a little bit darker with the sky, a little bit more contrasty. Since our car is like contrasty, like even coming away with something like that, maybe this blue isn't your cup of tea and you want to go with a different blue. Ideally, you would want to like find a sky that represents the time of day better than I did. I'm working very quickly here, but um, I think like a direction like this would have made it would have pushed the photo in a nice direction, uh, you know. So let's see if there's like an overall color grade too that we could have gotten out of it. So shadows, let's just say we wanted to go like a little warmer, something like that. Image, apply, invert. We want it to only affect the shadows. Okay, levels. And then on the highlights, color balance. Image, apply, invert, levels. Here's with a simple color grade to it. Um, pretty close to the color grade you're doing. So yeah, there's just like a couple of like subtle tweaks that I would make. Um, that, like I said, the composition of the photo is, is nice. Um, you're a little off center, which is, you know, they always say, don't put things in the center. I think you know, art subjective, like you can put things in the center, especially nowadays with like social media and stuff, like working with such a small image, like it's okay if things are in the center now, it's a little bit more acceptable. Whereas like back when I was like in college and stuff, like it was like, God forbid you touch the center of your image, whatever, like who cares? Um, but you are like a little off center here, which I actually kind of like, it's like, you know, for composition, you know, the composition nerds, um, will like to see that. So yeah, no, I think it's pretty much just a sky and a correctly color grading the Ferrari away from being like a remarkable, remarkable photo. It's still a good photo. Um, like I said, a really cool perspective, a really cool angle, your tack sharp, which is awesome. Um, another little note I would say is, you know, anytime, Anytime you can like, like this would be so easy to remove, but like anytime you can get like little things off of like growing out of your car, um, you should do right. So like I would zip that out and like maybe that one, like again, super nitpicky. Another one like this guy biking, like I know nobody probably even sees that, but like again, it's so easy to just like take the remove tool and be like, hey, we don't want you there. We want it to be a bush. Oh, that didn't work you know, something like that, you know, remove him kind of out of there. Now, like if he was like fully in the frame and it kind of made sense, like, yeah, you don't want to remove some of those real life elements, but like some of these elements that are like growing out of the car and stuff, like it would just look so much cleaner with, without them there, you know, um, and this one, if you just circle, it'll like finish its circle, the remove tool, this thing's pretty sweet. So, you know, something like that. Um, and yeah, I think that, you know, is pretty much the route I would go in on something like this. Um, very cool, very cool perspective. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you for sending it in and we appreciate it. Um, hopefully you guys are liking these on the channel. I, if somebody else was doing this and it was my favorite photographer or something, like I would be treating like every shot that was sent in, like it was my photograph, like he was talking directly to me. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here for you guys. Like, even though I'm talking about his photo here, like I'm act like I'm talking to all of you guys and it's like you sent this photo in you. I think that when I'm reviewing photos, like, yes, it's art subjective, but like there's some of the tactical side of things that like I could show off like, Oh, wow, how I quickly selected a very confusing sky and like, Oh, those light posts didn't really select out. Well, let's get rid of them. Like some of those decisions, like, to see it being made um, will help give you guys reassurance or like, oh, I didn't know you could select it. That's way faster than the way I selected it. So like hopefully this stuff is bringing you guys value. Um, I can see that like these get way less views, but um, 
maybe that I'm perfectly fine with it. Like, I think this is like the views, the people that are probably viewing these, it's a bit more tactical and it's probably like if we ever do build a little community, it's probably the community. So like these are very important to me to give back to you guys. So uh, feel free if you guys want to be a part of this. Um, if you're seeing this on YouTube and you don't follow me on Instagram or something like and you want to be a part of this, I basically just ask that it's some sort of sub on one of my socials. And if you're that, send in a photo and um, I'll take a look at it and review it for you guys and try to bring you guys the most value possible and have us all grow as photographers basically um but again a lot of these tactics can be used across any photography too so it doesn't have to be just automotive so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you guys on the next one peace